Hello all. Huh? Gelukkig nieuwjaar. Gelukkig nieuwjaar. Ja, heel goed. Just to, just to confirm that we will do a post-match press conference uh, and then we'll also do our pre-Arsenal press conference. We'll do that in two sections, a broadcast section and an embargo print section. So we'll start with a post-match uh, tonight. Samuel? Uh, is, is the matter of that you're frustrated because Palace didn't seem to cause you much trouble until the final 20 minutes? <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, that is disappointed when uh, one unlucky moment uh, that you will concede a goal like this, and then there's um, almost no time anymore uh, to go for the win, uh, almost because we had still we had two opportunities, and and there was a big chance I think from the corner with uh, Bruno and with Casemiro. But yeah, when you uh, concede a goal just before end, then it's less time, and uh, I think it was unnecessary. I think we had to go early on, uh, go for the second goal. Does it feel like a two-point drop? And what was it like in the change room after the game? The players are clearly disappointed. Yeah, it's quite clear when you're one 0 up and you're totally in control in the game. And uh, but in football, you know, one moment can change uh, everything. And you have seen today, and that uh, the result of the game was by one unlucky moment change. Uh, although we control the game. How disappointing is it to be without Casemiro now for the Arsenal game? And did that come into your thinking? With selection tonight, with that yellow card in mind. At the first was yeah, this game was important. Eh? Uh, every game is important, and every game in the Premier League is um, is a top game. Um, so um, the second is um, uh, Casemiro is obviously a really important player for us, and he is one of the reasons that we are in the position where we are now. Eh? That is Casemiro, but also last time we beat Everton of Everton uh, Arsenal without Casemiro. And so we have a squad, and so we have to fill that gap and uh, make a proper plan. And the squad have to um, have to fill it and make sure uh, that there is a team. Uh, uh, we already showed how to beat Arsenal. Cal, this is tonight, the second half saw an incident involving a tackle on top of Tommy in the penalty area. No penalty was given. Do you believe it was a penalty? Uh, you have to accept and. Uh, the decisions from VR uh, from uh, from the referees. Uh, you've only got one penalty this season, much lower than totals from last season and the season before that. Do you feel as if you're getting the correct rub the green from referees on the line? Yeah, <laughs> same answer. Um, uh, I look in the mirror, I look to my team, I look to my uh, to my own managing and coaching, um, and then I say invest more for the second goal. And then you can, um, then you avoid situations that you are dependent on refereeing, VR, etc. And that is what we have to do. Last question. I heard it about Marcos debut. I think, I think um, it's not easy uh, to come in a team who is in the run and uh, um, uh, for seven, eight months in a way of play, and then you have to come in. Uh, uh, yeah, so we had one game. To, to look, but I don't think that was representing the way how, how we played against City. Was of course was was great eh, to be to be uh, part of that eh, from outside and out. But now he has to do it by himself, and um, I thought it was the best the best choice. Eh, to he has the profile of the nine, and I think he did he did quite well. He was a link up player. He makes a great run with the first uh, first goal, the front post run. Uh, took two players out, eh, what uh, makes uh, Bruno free. Uh, uh, also um, impressing, I think he can see also Kudibio. Uh, we have to move on now to our pre-Arsenal press.